Hello and welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm Yos Khalil Ward. Thank you for tuning in on this episode. I will finally get to talk about Incredibles 2. It's been 14 years since the first movie and it was well worth the wait. Uh, the movie picks up literally where the first movie ends when, when that mole guy comes out and the family jumps back in to fight crime. Uh, it takes story beats from the first movie. Like in, in the uh, the first movie, Mr. Incredible you know, was fighting crime secretly. This time around, there's a person with a lot of money. He loves supers. He wants to get them back on the map. So they use Elastigirl because she basically causes less damage. Um, it's a good start to the movie. I had an issue in one particular scene where she's driving around. You know, they go to this like this city that's supposed to be New York. And she's not... Supers are not legal. So at one point, she's just sitting there on the bike in her costume and nobody says anything to her until she starts driving around i didn't understand that part but uh mr incredible he becomes a stay-at-home dad they they have this nice fancy house he's taking care of jack jack he's taking care of dash and violet uh dash is for the most part just struggling in school with math um violet is having boy issues and jack jack is coming into his powers uh we've seen that we saw it in the first movie he had the powers when he was messing with the babysitter and everything like that. And this time around, he has even more abilities and they can't really control it. He just starts using them randomly. Uh, actually, his scene when he starts using them is very funny. Um, for me, Jack-Jack stole the show. Uh, he was funny, adorable, charming, you know, just a, a cute baby in this movie. And then his powers, whenever they manifest, was a lot of fun. Uh, there was more Frozone, which was good. He, he had lines. Uh, he was out of his costume. Uh, he had jokes, you know, with the family. They, you know, you really seen the connection between him and uh, the Incredibles, the bar, the Pars, Bars. I think their last name is Bars, right? So it was good seeing him as well. Um, as far as the action sequences, really well done. Just like the first movie, um, it was a lot of Elastigirl. They was really showing off her abilities, especially with the bike and everything. She had a different kind of costume. Uh, it wasn't as much Mr. Incredible in costume. It was more of him being at home and understanding the dynamics of being a father with these kids who have super abilities and like the stress that comes with it. You know, he really wants to fight crime, but being at home with his kids is a lot tougher than fighting crime. Um, I like the fact that when they came together, they really, you know, helped each other out with their powers. You know, they worked with one another. They added other supers. Their powers were kind of corny. But it was good for them to add other superheroes in it. Um, Edna makes a comeback. And of course, in her scene, she's hilarious as always. Um, and, but to me, the villain wasn't as good as the, the villain in Incredibles 1. The villain, they had a point. They had a, a, a real desire. And it made sense for them when you get to the end of the movie. But it wasn't as cool as the you know the, the first villain. Um, I wish the family had more superhero scenes together. They had a lot of family time together. I wish it was more superhero scenes. Maybe, um, I don't know, just something else. Uh, the movie is two hours. It feels like two hours when you watch it. Uh, there's a lot of time spent at home with, uh, Mr. Incredible and the kids and it drags a little bit there, but, um, it picks up at a moment. Um, I feel that Jack Jack stole the show. Uh, there wasn't enough Mr. Incredible and dash didn't have a signature moment everybody else really had like signature moments violet had a, a nice moment using her powers of course elastigirl mr incredible does his thing whenever he shows up uh frozone really does his thing but dash didn't really have any moment where he gets you know where he really shows off his abilities um most of his moments was when he was at home um he they find uh mr incredible's car and you know he has a funny moment with that but he doesn't really get to show off his speed like he did in the first one he didn't really have anything to do and in the first movie he was my favorite character so that's a, a knock on this movie as well if you really love dash uh he doesn't really get to to shine as much but it was good seeing jack jack again um just manifesting his abilities and it was good that the since it was a long wait for the sequel that they really picked up right where the first movie left off i'm glad they didn't like jump five ten years ahead of time you know and start a new story it really picks up um they're learning how to be a family of supers you know in a world where supers are illegal so it was a good movie 
Uh, I think everybody will enjoy it. Bring the kids. You know, when I went to go see it, it was a lot of kids um, of different ages watching it, a lot of adults in there as well. So it's a fun movie. I don't think it's quite as good as the first Incredibles, but still a good time at the theater. If you see it, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for listening. Deuces. Deuces.